Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see about two more options in Excel that is alignment and number format. So first let us open the Excel. So just click on the run command and type excel and click OK so that Excel will be opened. And here you can select the blank document. So go to the blank document and here see now I will write some text. Now we can also align this text in this particular cell. So now it automatically fit to the cell. So there will be no problem. And if if the row height is increased and a column width has been increased, now you can align this text in this particular cell. So now by default, it will be it is a character and by default, it will be aligned towards its left position right bottom left and here you can see the alignment options these are all the alignment options in these options you can see these six options these are the uh, left alignment this is for center and this is for right and this is for bottom this is for middle and this is for top so now by default it is at bottom see bottom alignment and left alignment if you press the center it will be center and a bottom if you go with this one left right and bottom and if you go with this one right and center and then right and top okay and you can also go with this one center right center so uh, right left okay a uh, top left so like this we can center and a middle and then the content or a text will be displayed in a center of the cell exactly center of the cell Right. So these are the alignment options left, right, center, top, middle and bottom. And here you can observe the A, B alphabets here. This is the orientation how the text should be displayed. So if you click on this arrow, so you can observe here there is a small arrow mark. So if that means there will be a more number of options for this orientation. So you just select this one, you will get this uh, angle counterclockwise, angle clockwise, vertical, rotate text up, rotate text down format cell element so just click on this one you can observe this is a diagonal right so angle counterclockwise this is an angle clockwise this is a vertical test text so you can observe here so this is a vertical text okay and this is a rotate text up from bottom to top okay and then rotate text down rotate text down and format cell alignment so there we can get all the options so if you press this arrow mark here this is these are the options of alignment and if you press this one uh, then also you'll get the same options right now so let us check with this one so normal text it's a normal text okay and this is all about our alignments and this is nothing but indent increase or decrease that means space okay you can observe the arrow mark is towards its uh, left words right so just click on the left so you can observe it was aligned okay you can observe it was aligned towards its left so this this is about a left alignment this is about right alignment you can observe here this is about your left alignment that means all the spaces will be appeared okay see I will show you once again so if our data is like this exactly it was at center center right exactly at center center if you want to move the text towards its left side just click on this one so left decrease indent see this was the end okay if you want to just uh, right side move the right side you just click on this one it will move right side that means it will add spaces on the left side you can observe here it you will add, it will add spaces all these are the spaces different spaces okay so this is how we can use the decrease indent and increase indent indent means spacing from the margin okay from the cell border right so you can observe here the tooltip so if you just move, move on the mouse pointer at this option you can observe this is a decrease indent move your content closer to the cell border and this is move your content farther away from the cell border right and coming to this one wrap text see 
if the if the cell size is less okay if the cell size is less see if the size is le less and uh, you are having some lot of content so now you can observe here the the text is i mean moving beyond the cell border right so then you can go with the wrap text so that the content will be formed in a two lines so you can see just this is a, this is a way so if you are not giving the wrap text everything will be in a single line and if you do the wrap text it will arrange in a multiple lines with the help of this uh, column width right see if you go with the wrap text automatically it will be arranged aligned in two different lines aligned in two different lines like this we can have this wrap text to adjust the content within the cell itself and the next one is a merge so if you want to combine two or more cells if you want to combine two or more cells then we go with this merge or merge and center so if you select this one if you select this one and just select these three cells and click on this merge and center automatically that that will be obtained as a single cell so you can observe this is a single cell it's a name is c5 c5 there will be no d5 okay there will be no d5 or e5 okay f5 will be there but if you select this one the three cells will be jointly merged and the content will be aligned in the center so that's the name itself indicates the merge and center merge and center so whatever the things we need to do so either it can be a, a rows or a columns you can merge okay now i will select this uh, five rows and i just want to apply this one so all those five rows will be merged into and it it forms a single cell it forms a single cell and the uh, representation of this cell is a g6 so you can you can observe g6 and there will be no g7 no g8 no g9 no g10 and no g11 directly after g6 you will be getting g12 after g6 it will be g12 that means from g6 to g11 we have we have merged these cells we have merged these cells right so that is called a merge merge operation and now we will see a more number of options in this alignment just click on this extension so you will be having a lot of uh, uh, options available here so that is an wrap text st string to fit merge cells and text direction so you can apply the text direction and the font style font regular style uh, then the size strike through you can also apply the strike through right so select this one and so you will be having all these things we have covered in a word right strike through strike through means automatically the content will be strike off okay and then so you can observe here the strike through and superscript and subscript if you need to write any equations or a formulas then we are supposed to use this superscript and subscript right and we can also apply the border for this uh, see we can also apply the border for the cell so these options are already we have seen in the previous session right so dash border solid border double border wave border so like this we can have the border and we can also have the color and also we can fill the cell with the, our own colors right so this is how we can represent and here you can have the pattern style how the the cells should be represented see you can observe the cell is filled with the given pattern so pattern here there will be two things one is a color and another one is a pattern so this is the pattern you can fill with this pattern to that particular cell right so these are the options available in alignment right so hope you understood this uh, concept so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding these alignment options feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching